All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day. We got to another Copart, and uh, we bought something out here. And instead of getting a ship, we went ahead and took an airplane flight all the way to Minnesota, to uh, Minneapolis, St. St. Clair. But anyways, we're here at the yard. We actually bought ourselves a transit van, and uh, we're gonna drive it home. That's the plan. But since we're here, let's go ahead and check out this yard, because the transit van's coming. Look at it, it's coming. And uh, hopefully, that transit van runs. It's a run and drive. We have like 2,000 mile road trip. And these fun trips are a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and check out their other yard, because this yard is huge. Like it's going all the way past those trees, or up to those trees. So it's really huge, it's a lot of walking. But uh, check out all these toys. Pretty much when I was buying that transit van, I'm like, what else can I put inside that transit van? You know what I mean? Like, we're already out here. I looked at some motorcycles to play. That side by side actually played, but I'm like, I don't think we can fit it in. But let's go ahead and check out the yard. They got a really cool uh, camper. Kind of want to check out. It's like an uh, ice fishing camper. We'll check that out really quick because it looks pretty cool, you know? Let's go ahead and check out the inventory. So, yeah, I was looking at the listing of this thing. I'm like, it looks pretty normal. I'm like, what is all this? lower the whole thing down on the ice and go fishing. So yeah these things I mean I always I've never seen one in person. Oh, this is pretty cool. Kind of what I imagined, you know, the holes in the floor, bunk beds. And here's some ice fishing. I think they just I don't think there's any damage on this one. It's just wear and tear but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, I thought it would be like, you, you, you got the fish and then you just throw it away the cats. No, but this is pretty cool. It was on my list of things to look at. Maybe we could pick it up because it is very popular up here, but down south, I don't think our lakes freeze. But it'd be cool to get one of these and go ice fishing up here. Do a road trip, another one. But do you think that, I think the transit van will pull this. I'll do that Well, let's keep going, check out the rest. This is what we need right here. I'm pretty sure we can maybe fit this inside of this transit van. But I've been looking at snowmobiles, you know, we gotta get one. We never fixed one. Pull it up. I think it's that, I think it'll fit. Oh yeah, it definitely fit. This one looks nice. Well, it's already off. That so means uh, it's not running drive anymore. It's got heated seats. Cool. But anyway, let's keep looking at the trailers. Maybe we could tow something home. All right, guys. So let's check out some of these campers um, because you know we're here. But we got some of these pop-up tent campers. Very low maintenance or very low, easy to haul. This one looks like it got rear-ended, so not something we'd be interested in. This one looks pretty good too. But let's keep going. Another ice fishing one. This is very popular here. Let's keep going and checking out on this yard what else they got. We got some boats. I think, I think they have so many lakes here in Minnesota, like 10,000. Who knows? What we can really get though is that school bus. All right, so we made it to the truck center. Big long one line. Of trucks, but check out this tundra. This tundra is pretty sick. Windows still open for some reason. Check out the damage. The rear is good. Oh, here's the damage. Okay. And that's probably why the windows are open. It's still all damaged. Ooh, white and black interior. That's pretty sweet. Still smells good. But yeah, this damage would not be that bad at all. Two doors, a fender, a little bit of suspension work. They have a quick one rear build. But let's keep going and check out the rest of this stuff and then we'll really check out what we bought. Hopefully it's not too rusted. All right, look what I found in the back corner. It's a Shelby. So 755 horsepower. It's got a little bit of front end damage, a little bit of side damage, unless it rolled. Maybe it did. But let's keep going. Why is this axle so 
sitting really bad. Got the pinstripes, pretty cool. Oh, it's missing a wheel. Completely ripped out. It had a roll. And it still opens. Carbon fiber, pretty sweet. A lot more trucks over here. Let's check out these ones. We found one cool one. Another another one we put, you know, for the future. But definitely a lot of inventory, a lot of trucks out here. Makes sense. You're all the way to Minnesota. You need a truck, you need four wheel drive. But yeah, we're almost halfway through the yard, I think. Alright, so we made it to the back section and they have so much room back here. Probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. I mean, Dallas definitely has a huge yard, but this one, I mean, we rose in elevation. We're like on top of the hill and everything. All right, guys, so one of the hardest cars to find here is a Tesla, actually. So I don't know, they don't really have that many Teslas. All right, so there's definitely a lot of inventory here, a lot of cars you can check out. A lot of older, newer, a lot of inventory. So definitely a nice little place. But here's what I was really worried about, the rust. So that's what we're worried about up north buying stuff. Is rust like that. But other than that, I'm definitely impressed with how little rust we see in the regular cars. So who knows if they use a lot of salt up here or not, but not as bad as I thought. Let's go check out what we got. All right guys, so there's what we bought. A Ford Transit van. Out of all the things, why did I buy it? I don't know, but we got a long road trip. Let's check it out. So I already see some good things. The windows are tinted, so they won't see them coming. It's already ours, so. Flip off the mirrors. Nobody has damage. It's not bad, it's not bad. Let's keep going. The wheel looks good. A little bit of rust right there, but you know, not too bad. I didn't see that dent. <laughs> oh man, deal breaker. But the tires, look at this. Tire stone. Really good tires. Tinted windows, very nice. And it's got a hitch, so. We can get one of the campers and one of those things, put it inside. Or, check that out. It's got, it's got the seats inside of it. Our mirror. Should we have taken a mirror on the plane? Yeah. But hey, it's got power. Lights just not on, so. Let's go inside. Check it out. We can start this thing. That's been a close. <laughs> and, yeah. Mm. Hopefully the keys are inside. Look at that, three sets of keys. One for you, one for Michael, <laughs> one for me. Let's see. It's got trailer brakes. Mm. Should we check the oil first? You yeah, probably should. <laughs> you got a long, oh, you got a long road ahead. A long road. Oh, that looks pretty clean. Look at that. Come here. Look at this rust. I don't see any rust at all. Oh, that looks clean. Uh, ooh, why is this one like? This is weird. Let's just fix that really quick. <laughs> um, look at that. It's got a lot of oil in there. Yeah, we're good. Oil's good. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Coolant, we have coolant. Yeah, we got coolant in here. Grill's more messed up, but you get like a little heat gun, warm this up, pop this out. 
Let's see if it moves. That's gonna be a quarter, right? That's gonna be a challenge. Zero gas in this thing. Mm. And the steering's not working. What? What? Yeah, there's no power steering. It moves. <laughs> Let's check out why the steering's not working. That sucks. That's not good. Oh, because it's missing. Oh, no, hold on. Guess maybe from the accident it popped out? Nothing. Yeah, see, that's the power steering. Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up our title and hit the road. So we went to the local gas station, got some power steering fluid, but I don't know why it's leaking. Let's start it, see if we got some power steering for it. enough for us to do. let's go hit the gas station put some gas in it and hit the road hopefully we have no other issues but... all right guys so we're inside the transit van it says low tire pressure not a big deal Low washer fluid, zero to empty miles. All right, let's see. Got the lights on. Let's turn these lights off. Huh? But look, another transit van. Heck yeah. All right, this is a very good sign. Turn signals are working. Our steering fluid feeling better. 
let's follow that transit. Oh, it's shifting. Our windows are working. Alignment is decent. Here we go. The shift. All right, going 30. We're doing good. Gas station's only right around the corner, so where we got some transmission fluid. Not bad at all. All right, so we made it to the gas station. On these, just gotta open that. It takes E85, no way. And we can put some E85 in this thing. Let's fill it up. These prices are not bad at all. All right guys, so about $25, 11 gallons. So this looks like it's gonna be a 22, 23 gallon tank. About 175,000 miles on this thing. Not that bad. The brakes, my brakes can hear that. It's grinding. And you can hear the exhaust a little bit, but I mean, nothing crazy, you know? It just breaks. Metal and metal. That's what it really kind of sounds like. You guys hear that? Let's hear it. Ah, that doesn't sound good, but okay. We gotta hit it to another spot, and then we can probably check it out. We got like a 20 minute drive, and then we can really check this out, so let's get to it. All right guys, so just like that, we made a 30 minute drive and they made it. The brakes are not good, but the transmission shifts, the power steering works, the AC I haven't tried, the radio I haven't tried, the windows work, you know, and we're missing one mirror, but the brakes is having a big issue. So either we got to fix that or we're gonna have to figure it out. But that's all the time we got for this episode. You guys stay tuned because it's a long road trip, but I think I bought something else. So we're gonna have to figure that out, but that's gonna be until next time.